some people are claiming that the Olympics is a scam. Okay. And I mean, listen, it, you know, it very well could be, you know, it very well could be, it very well could be a scam to the point where like, I don't know, maybe just maybe in total through the sale of broadcasting and marketing rights, as well as other income streams, the revenue for the Olympians that, uh, that the Olympics paid spans 2017 to 2020, 2021, covering the Olympic winter games, uh, in 2018, the Olympic and Tokyo games, 2020 was a total of $7.8 billion. What are we doing? The Olympics every year, commercials, sponsorships, ad placement, broadcasting, radio, television, billboards, the social media, the, the accounts, the ads, the campaigns, the everything. It brings in then a net of $7 billion, okay? And uh, it doesn't help the fact that, uh, you know, hey, none of the um, Olympians get any of the money, okay? Let's, uh, let's zoom in here. Here's how much we're going to learn right now. Here's how much we're making as an Olympian. The 2024 Paris Olympics are well underway with dozens of medals already handed out. Aside from a medal, a stuffed toy of the Olympics mascot and a mysterious box containing the official event poster, some medalists received additional financial rewards for their efforts, right? Of course, we'd hope so. Uh, while the International Olympic Committee does not give prize money for winning medals, several countries do award their athletes with medal bonuses. Uh, he, and here's a chart. Okay, let's take a peeksy poo. Hong Kong leading the way. What are we doing? Hong Kong leading the way. For every gold medal you get in Hong Kong, you're almost a millionaire. You get $768,000 for every gold medal you take home as a Hong Kong citizen in the Olympic. I mean, talk about an incentive. Why wouldn't you try to be your best? Why wouldn't you try to perform your best in Hong Kong? I mean, as you can see here, we've got... We've got, we've got Singapore is almost the same. Indonesia drops a little bit, drops a little bit. And then we get all the way down here. And then we get all the way down here. And here we have, here we have the United States. This is how, this is how much our country loves our, I mean, I just, could you imagine if it was anywhere lower on the list? This is how much we care about our citizen. This is how much we care about our Olympians. They are bringing in billions of dollars worth of revenue and to reward them, if they get, if they get a, uh, a bronze medal, they will receive a bonus from the United States of $15,000. And then the next step up, obviously a silver medal, 25, uh, I'm sorry, uh, $23,000. <laughs> Didn't want to give them any more than that. And then if they get a gold, the United States will give these uh, uh, athletes $38,000. And I mean, listen, I don't understand what people are complaining about. What are we doing? What are you complaining about? It's $38,000. What's wrong with that? What is wrong with it? You weren't getting anything. You are a gymnast. You are a rower. You are a volleyball player. You are a water polo athlete. And if, what do you have to complain about? $38,000 go for gold. You don't want 15, do you? No, you don't. You want 38. So you go for gold. Okay. Listen, some of the highest payouts obviously are from Hong Kong. Some of the lowest Listen, other uh, governments, okay, listen to this, ready? In addition to uh, a lieu of cash, okay, obviously some countries giving out six figures uh, and the United States giving a gracious, okay, gracious, like you should be grateful. Anyone complaining, I don't understand. In addition to a lieu of cash, some athletes stand to receive additional winnings such as apartments, cars, 
uh, and from both governments and private companies. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. Ka uh, Kazakhstan's Olympic athletes reportedly can earn $250,000 for a gold medal. Some countries, some countries are just giving you, uh, uh your, uh, psh, you know, random things, random things, not even money, not even money. A local chain pledged that athletes who uh, represented Malaysia at the Tokyo Games will get free food uh, for life, okay? According to local media, uh, uh, oh, and they're also getting this uh, te tekarik, which is a hot milk tea beverage that's popular. So they get to drink and eat for free for life, okay? Japanese table, pl uh, table tennis player, Kasumi Ishikiwa, I'm, I'm saying it wrong, I'm sorry, don't roast me, was gifted a hundred bags of rice. What are we doing? After winning a silver medal. Ah, uh, well, she, dude, she only won a silver medal. If she would have won a gold, she probably would have gotten more, okay, at the Tokyo Games. And then Indonesian badminton gold medalist, I'm not even gonna attempt the names, were reportedly given after they won gold, gold medals at the Olympics, five cows, a meatball restaurant, and a new house for them to share together. What are we doing? And so, listen, if you hear people, I don't know, like Joe Rogan or anyone else, like complaining about the fact that these, at, like the, the Olympics are making $7 billion. They're making $7 billion in this span of like three to six months that this whole thing is happening. And the athletes that are complaining, they have to get a medal. You're not gonna get paid if you don't get a medal. Like, what are you talking about? You have to get a medal, okay? So I, I don't really quite understand it. I don't know what you're complaining for. Like some people, you could have gotten a cow, Simone Biles. What are we doing? Like, we could have given Simone Biles and her entire family five cows in a meatball restaurant, okay? But yet we're complaining about the $38,000 bonus that now the U.S. government has to shell out. And where do you think that money's coming from? Probably your taxes, okay? And best to rest assured that that $38,000 isn't tax free. What are we doing? I mean, listen, if you get a gold medal as a United States Olympian, you listen, that's basically, okay, it's basically a Honda Civic. You you could take that $38,000 and trade it right in for a, a scot free Honda Civic. Or if you get like, you know, the, the, the $23,000 silver prize, you could pay off your student loans. Probably right around the time where they're right before the government's going to do it for you. So you shouldn't have spent the money on it anyways. And if you get the bronze medal, you don't have to worry about your rent from anywhere from six to 18 months. What are we doing? And so, you know what I mean? And if we're being honest, I just feel like a lot of these athletes are really ungrateful for this opportunity that has been given to them. Okay, and so everyone, you know what I mean? Everyone's complaining about the opening ceremony. Uh, yada, yada, you look, it's it's fine, dude. It's like, you know, it, the, 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 here's who was, uh, the Christians were upset, okay? It was mocking the Last Supper. The blue guy was supposed to be Jesus. And you can't, when they get in a tizzy, it's it's just it's not good for that they, they can't compute it they don't understand that we're in Paris France okay what are we doing and so it's just it's just problem after problem after problem 